All right, ladies and gentlemen, if gentlemen are on right now, we're gonna start off with the core killer. So non-weighted core killer, if you happen to have nuts and balls, right? We're gonna warm our body up, and then a whole bunch of different exercises we're gonna blitz you today, a little bit of workout, all right? So starting off with side twists, if you happen to have something that you want to hold on to, great. Going here, that's fine too. Uh, let me turn. Shooting some video again, so I can the time around. Play. Thirty second round. Three, two, one, go. Side twist. Hey, you're gonna side twist. Hell yeah. All the way through, and then from here we go to wood choppers. With wood choppers, we're gonna to touch our back and then touch the ground. So you go from here, touch your back, touch the ground, touch your back, touch the ground, touch the back, touch the ground. Body up nice and tall while you're touching the ground, bend the knees to get there versus at the waist. If you can't get low enough to touch the ground, go as low as you can. Can you get all the way to your knees? Can you get halfway down your shins? Can you get your ankles, right? Can you get your palms flat on the ground? Same thing with your back. If you can't get all the way to the back, what can you do? Diagonal chops. So we're just gonna go from shoulder to the hip. We're gonna do one side, we're gonna do the other side, and then we'll go right back to the beginning again. Like I have my samurai sword in my hand, I'm going from my shoulder to my hip. Shoulder to the hip. A little momentum behind the chop so that you have to stop. There should be a other side. A little bit of an emphasis on the stop. Come back, stop, come back, stop, and then down. That motion, stopping it and pulling the hands back. That really is what gets your body working. The rest of it's just momentum once you start moving. Now, for your work, walk, nice easy version of it. Not killing ourselves yet. We'll be doing a body weight exercise workout. All the way down, right back up. Do whatever you want with your hands. You can have them in front, you can put them behind you, you can put them in your hips. And then we're going to go right into lunges. Lunge, and then switch. Just simple forward lunge. Or you can do it as a backwards lunge, doesn't really matter. I'll use your lunge. Just getting our legs moving a little bit. And then we're gonna go cross behind lunges. So now step behind, drop the knee down. Step behind, drop the knee down. And then backwards at a 45, shoulders still stay forward. And then one more time, do the whole thing again. So side twists. Go, go, go. Just, just quickly. And then still side twists. And over the head, touch the shoulder, touch the ground, wood choppers. Touch the back, touch the ground. Full range. Get the elbows to point straight up to the ceiling when you get to your back. 
as opposed to out to the sides, trying to get to the back. Straight up. And then from there, we do diagonal chops, shoulder to the hip. Touch your shoulder, touch your hip, touch your shoulder, touch your hip. Get your body moving from side to side. Instead of just having my hands moving, my whole body moves, turn. Look over your right shoulder, left shoulder. Right shoulder, left shoulder. Switching with the other way. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Get your whole body to move. Each time you turn, your shoulder should come forward. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder forward. Left shoulder forward, right shoulder forward. That's it. And then we go right back into lunges, or squats rather. First round with squats. Down and back up. Don't have to burn them out yet. We'll get plenty of work in in just a little bit. We're still in the warm up phase. Just get your body moving and breathe. Many times just moving and breathing consistently will be enough to get your heart pumping. Get a little sweat going. And then lunges into the ground. And then we go to cross behind lunges next. Three, two, one. Cross behind, shoulders stay forward, leg is behind it at 45. Almost there. And I have a whole bunch of exercises we're gonna blitz through. We had a little bit of breaks in between. So we'll do the first round we go through this is meant to be just make sure you're really focusing in on perfect form, right? You're still gonna get your heart pumping, but think about just moving through it with really good form. The second time we go through every one of the rotations, then we wanna start picking up the intensity a little bit more, and we might get a good four rotations in um, before we run out of time. So we'll see how it goes. Round one is gonna be jumping jacks, right? And there's, well, there's just a one round of, well, there's a couple of different rounds of jumping jacks. Jumping jacks into squats, into push-ups. So we're doing 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and then you do a set of 10 perfect push-ups on your own. And then after that, we're gonna get about a 30 second rest, right? And then I'll explain what the next round of exercises are, and then we'll go into those, all right? So jumping jacks, squats, set of 10 push-ups. 30, 30, and then count the 10 out on your own. Ready, get set, and Go, maybe, hey, there it is, it's working. So we're doing jumping jacks, just nice and easy. Think full range, hands to your sides, hands all the way over the head. Nice, easy jump on the outsides. And then after this, we go right into our squats. And then right into squats, 30 seconds. Nice and deep. Squeeze the glutes on the way up. Always think squeeze the muscle you're trying to work the most. If I wanted to work hamstrings, I could just do this. And the motion looks the same, but I feel it in my hamstrings and my glutes don't feel anything. And then we're gonna drop into a set of 10 push-ups on your own. Full range, all the way down, all the way back up. Try and push up as high as you can each time. And then you're done. Wasn't that easy? 
Second round, mountain climbers for 30 seconds, lunges for 30 seconds, and every one of these is going to be capped off just with a nice simple set, 10 perfect push-ups, right? So now, next round again, mountain climbers, so on the ground, bring your knees across to the shoulders, we pop up for lunges, another set of push-ups. Ready? Mountain climbers in three, two, one. That's work. Knee to the shoulder. Knee to opposite shoulder. Instead of straight up, get that little bit of a squeeze coming across your center line. You just don't have to be fast. Just keep your body moving. Slight bend in the elbows. Don't lock your arms out. And then hop right up and go to lunges. Nice and controlled. If you find yourself losing your balance doing lunges, then slow it down a little bit and make sure your feet stay in front of your shoulders. So instead of trying to come in a straight line, my feet are actually so shoulder width apart. And that keeps my balance side to side. And then drop, set of 10 push ups on your own. And then we're up. Ooh, this would be a good one. So now we're gonna do pulsing squats into burpees or squat thrusts into push-ups. So pulsing squats, we're down, and you're just at the bottom, pulsing three or four inches for 30 seconds, and then full squat thrust down, out, in, up. Keep in mind right now, you're not trying to kill yourself, you're just getting your body even warmer than we were before. And we cap it off again with the same set of 10 push-ups. And let's go, pulsing squats. Three down low. So what I used to look like when I skied. This was my stance, Lisa. This is what I was talking about. Bomb in the hill, just like this. Almost there. Let those legs burn. Squat thrust. Now all the way down, out, all the way up. Remember, stand up tall. If your body doesn't like going all the way through the squat thrust motion, just do a deep squat. And then push-ups, set of 10. End of round three. All right, and then we go uh, elbow knee crunches, and then we do cross jacks. So um, we're gonna go cross your arms, cross your feet. You're gonna cross and then back. So instead of coming over the head and out, right, you're just simply crossing. Feet come out wide as your arms come wide, right? And then we cap it with a set of 10 push ups. So elbow knee crunches, hop up. Cross jacks, back down for push ups. 30, 30, and 10. Ready? Elbow knee crunches. Oh, this is the timer. Yes, almost worked. You heard it, it beat. There it is. Elbow knee. 30 seconds. One elbow touches the knee, the other elbow touches the ground. Toes point all the way away from your body. Straighten the leg out. And then pop up for cross jacks. Cross your arms, cross your feet.
almost there. And then 10 push-ups. And then we pop up. That was round one. That was our warm-up round. So now you should be nice and warm, and we can start going to work, right? Little bead of sweat on the forehead. Little one, just starting to break it. All right, so now we pick it up. This round, we have to pick up the intensity a little bit. You're trying to get a few more repetitions in, a little more faster repetition, whatever it might happen to be, right? So we started back first round, jumping jacks, squats, still just 10 push-ups at the end. Jumping jack, start us off. And let's go. So it should be a little bit faster now. It doesn't have to be a race, but you're going at a good pace. Now you want to feel your heart pump. We're going to go for about a minute. It'll work out to be about a minute 15 to a minute 30 with a 30 second break. One version of high intensity interval training. Push hard for the minute and a half or so, and then breathe deep in between. Right after this, we go into squats. Keep up, let's go. If you can go faster than me, that's fine. Especially if Michael's online. Push-ups for all you candidates that are in class. They should be crushing me. Finish your 10 push-ups and then breathe. And then we go into the next round. The next round goes mountain climbers, lunges into push-ups. The quicker you do the push-ups, the more of a break you get, by the way. Mountain climbers, cross your body. Try and get it so only one foot's touching the ground at a time. It's probably even a moment where for a split second you're airborne. As that foot's coming down, but the other one's already moving. Almost there. And then we go right into lunges. Pop up and lunge. It gives you a head rush going from mountain climbers to lunges. Then come off your mountain climbers and go up on one knee and then just switch. And then just switch. And just take a breath and switch until you get your head back under you. And then go to regular lunges. Push-ups. Set of 10. And then you get to breathe. It's first round through, or this round through. We're just taking the 30 seconds as a break. So the balance after the push-ups. So pulsing squats, burpees, push-ups. Pulsing squats, start it off. Vomit that elbow, we're vomiting fast now. Let those legs burn. Bounce, but bounce way down here. Try and stay here as you're bouncing. Set up here. If you can, the lower the better. And then, oh, what was after that? Burpees, 30 seconds. Remember, all the way up. Feel your shoulders pull back. It's kind of what I use for my um, checkpoint when I stand up, is that I pull my shoulders all the way back. Push. 
And then push-ups. And then the last one, elbow to knee crunches, into cross jacks, into push-ups. 10 second break. Elbow to knee crunches starts it off. That's work. And then from here, we pop up for the cross jacks. Pop back up. And then right into cross jacks. You need to take a moment, stay on one knee, so you're not giving the head rush. That's fine. You can go right into it. Perfect. And then, of course, push ups. And then back up. So, next round, same as the last, but I'll change the order a little bit so you're not going down, up, down, up, right? Um, and full 30 second break in between each one now, right? So, the first round, jumping jacks, squats, push ups normal order um, and then from there we'll switch and we'll go like lunges mountain climbers into push-ups which you might be thankful that we did the push-ups after the lunges with that one right um, and then we'll go bur burpees pulsing squats into the push-ups and then the last one cross jacks bicycle crunches into the push-ups so once we're on the ground we can just stay there right and then full 30 seconds in between this time um, Starts off with jumping jacks. Oh, perfect. Go. Push. Push yourself even faster and harder in the in-betweens this time. Full 30-second break. For his last time, you were probably only getting 15s on average. I know some of you may have gotten a little longer. Some of you might have been like, what do you mean we got to go again? I just finished number 10. So now you get a full 30 seconds from the time I'm done. And, and then, what do we do after that? Squats. Push. 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 Which will still be longer, right? Push. It's 30 seconds from the time I'm done versus just 30. It's going to give you an extra 10 to 15 second break still. Of course, the harder I push my push-ups, the less of a break you get. Push-ups. <sighs> Look at that, I even took my time coming over. Full 30 second breather. Sorry, but 30 seconds is gonna seem like a long time in between. So keep your body moving. Don't cool off too much. And then the next round, we're starting with lunges and then dropping down for mountain climbers and then our set of 10 push-ups, right? So lunges in less than 10 seconds. And off we go. Be close to the ground. Don't let it touch the ground. Keep your body over your hips, right? As I turn sideways, you'll see my body is staying over my hips versus it leaning forward and me putting a lot of weight on this front leg, right? It should be that my body almost just goes up and down. There's certainly a little bit of movement forward or backwards, but for the most part, it's just up and down. And then what do we do right after that? Mountain climbers, push.
Keep it going, 10 seconds. Ready to push ups? Thirty-second breather. Push-ups are definitely harder after mountain climbers, but then you didn't have the head rush. All right, so now burpees. Well, this one we could probably actually just do the same. Won't matter. So this one we're going pulsing squats into the burpees into push-ups. You might like the pulsing squats before versus after the burpees anyway. All right, pulsing squats. Let's hit it. Back on the mobile field. Didn't seem like that long ago that we're off the mobile field. Push, push, push. Those legs in motion don't just bounce this way. Get your body going up. Big difference between this and this. This isn't much of anything. You won't feel this much. You'll feel it, but this is what we're looking for. Get your head. Um, burpees. Shoulders back. If you want to do them, it's just a full range squat because your body does not like burpees. That's fine. However, for any candidates that are younger than me, well, any that I wouldn't consider real adults yet, let's say that. And then push ups. So, as I was going to say, any real adults can do the squats. Any candidates that are younger than me that are not real adults, full burpees. Okay, so next round. We switch your order for this one, cross jacks into um, elbow to knee crunches into push-ups. So cross jacks, and you guys all know the elbow to knee crunches, push-ups, and then we go. And ready, three, two, one. Cross jacks, push. Candidates, you've often heard me say attack the cow. Well, at least if you're listening to me, you've heard me say attack your cal. When you do cal, I attack it. Get it done, all right? No one, well, I shouldn't say no one. Two people enjoy the conditioning side of cal, but everyone loves the conditioning. Wait, I'll tell you in a second. Uh, elbow to knee crunches. Push. So it's trying to say, two people love to burn. That doing cow gives you, but everyone loves the conditioning that it gives you, and everyone loves what it does for your body. Body weight exercise is the way to go. Good for your conditioning, good for muscle bodies, they're gonna be useful. And push ups. Push. And it doesn't cost you anything, right? You don't have to buy big heavy weights, not extra pressure on your joints, elbows, knees, back. Body weight tends to, to give you the best conditioning with the least negative repercussions most of the time, right? Um, all right, so that was the end of the second round or third round, whichever round it was, but we're doing it again. Same as the last round, as soon as I get done with my 10 push-ups, I'll hit the timer for 30 seconds. We'll get that much of a break, all right? Attack it hard. This is probably gonna be the last time through this rotation. Starting with jumping jacks. Ready, get set, go! Jumping jacks into squats.
candidate, see if you can keep up. See if you can even beat my pace. But don't just beat it for 10 seconds. The whole round you have to try and beat it. And then squats. It's easy to see me going at this pace. And then go, okay, I'll beat it, I'll beat it, I'll beat it, I'll beat it. And then you're done. See if you can outpace me. The whole time. Push ups, full range, all the way down. Yeah, it was. I'll just do a couple extra. Well, that way it was more than 10. 30 second breather. And then we go to the next one. And we attack. One minute straight. And then a good solid set of 10 push ups. And then we breathe for about 30 seconds. So with this one, lunges and then mountain climbers. 10 second breather, and then things speed, but form is the most important thing, right? My form is off, speed doesn't matter. Form first, hit it. Come on, you only gotta go for 30 seconds, and then it's a different exercise. The other exercise may use similar groups, but they're not the same. Push, push it hard. Push. And then mountain climbers, move and breathe. Time your breathing with your movements. I go into and then out to on mountain climbers. Push ups. <sighs> mountain climbers after push ups are the bomb. Or I mean push-ups after mountain climbers. Mountain climbers after push-ups would be the same now. They'd be just as hard. All right, round three. Pulsing squats, burpees, into push-ups. Again, with pulsing squats, make sure your whole body's coming up and down here versus here, right? And then, Burpees full range if you're younger than me or under 40, we'll say under 40. Let's hit it. Pulsing squats. Push. 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 Keep it moving. Balance those legs. Let them burn. Burpees. Keep your legs all the way out on the bottom. And push ups. All right. Let's do a little bit of upper body conditioning, strength conditioning. Grab medicine balls or whatever you use them for weight.
and starting off with triceps. So know them as extensions. So we're here. If you don't have weight, remember you're squeezing the back of the arm, right? This is supposed to be better for your overall tricep because the bigger extension, bigger stretch at the bottom. I personally find though, if I were just squeezing my triceps and I'm just thinking here, squeeze, squeeze with no weight, this motion allows me to squeeze it stronger than this motion, right? Um, so whichever one is fine if you don't have weight. If you do have weight, then go to the above the head. If you happen to have a resistance band, wrap it around something and do this one, and you'll probably get a better benefit, right? 30 second rounds, and the tricep starts it off in three, two, one. That's work. Did it move? It did move. Move that time. Straight over the head. Don't hit yourself in the back of the head with a dumbbell like I just did. Do not concur on this. And then shoulders. Going right into it. We'll give it a 10 second breather so you can readjust. And let's go. And if you don't have dumbbells, just whatever you can do to go over their head, right? If you don't have anything, just raise the roof. Just do this. But keep your shoulders down so they're not touching your ears. Don't lift your shoulders all the way up. Just keep your hands out to the side and just pump them that way and you'll get it. Biceps. A few seconds to readjust. And 30 seconds. That's work. Squeeze and then lower slow. Squeeze, lower slow. If there's no weight, then go here. Or you could go this way. Just like you're flexing your muscles, no weight, go this way and you'll probably get a little bit better of a burn. Reach out as far as you can and then squeeze. Shake your arms out. One more round. Tricep started off. And beep. Beep. There you go. Good grip and then go. That was my challenge the last time as I was trying to keep up. Didn't pay attention to my grip. Had it at a weird angle. Smashed myself in the back of the head with a 25 pound dumbbell a couple of times. Certain none of it could have been the fatigue that I'm currently feeling. And then shoulders. 30 seconds. And that's work. Remember, if you don't have weights, just pump the arms, raise the roof. Do have weights. Nice long control. And then biceps. Last set. And that's work. Slow and controlled. Squeeze, lower slow. Squeeze, lower slow. Arms out to the side like I did last round. 
if you don't have weights, I find that that's a good way to work out flexing and isolating that bicep. And weights to the side. Push. Candidates, if you're using this for your workout, this is where you hit your kicking and cow forms. Everyone else, this is where we stretch. Sit back on the heels. And lay forward, hips down. Hope you ladies are all as sweaty as I am today. And gentlemen, of course, for the candidates, if you're watching this for a push up to a lunge, oh, my push up is feeling really slow now. Reach. And switch. Hips down and reach. Back down, press up higher. Try and keep the hips on the mat. Curl the toes under, alternate heels to the mat. Both heels down, hips to the ceiling. Back in the heels once more. And relax. Nice job, everyone. Thank you for playing this morning.